Like this video in the next five seconds because I told you to. Because I told you to. Because I told you to. Oh. Hold fire. The objective no is more. Uh, No. This kid's hacking. There's no. Oh no way. He saw. He thinks I'm hacking. Yo, what is going on everyone? It's your boy O'Parallel Dexter back at it again with a brand new YouTube video. Now, I hope you all had a happy holiday season and for all the folks at home that have been enjoying the Call of Duty videos, I love you all. And for everyone that has subscribed to me for the Fortnite videos, don't click off or unsubscribe yet because a new season is coming around that has me a little interested in making the return. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how I unlock the Diamond SMGs and Diamond Assault Rifles, as well as all of my best Assault Rifle builds for multiplayer. If you guys are enjoying the camo grind, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Cold War videos on the channel. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Actually getting this lobby. Why are you talking to me? Oh, let's go finally. Alright, last gun. Last gun for gold. I mean diamond. Fuck, I can't even talk. Last gun for diamond ARs. Alright, so I just unlocked the diamond assault rifles and I have the diamond SMGs and since the double XP and double weapon XP for Nuketown 24-7 is still out I think I'm gonna start grinding the tactical rifles and the LMGs next but I'm not gonna lie doing these assault rifle challenges were a lot harder than expected I finished leveling up these guns super fast and all I had to do was just do a few more challenges and it was a lot tougher than I expected it's actually super exciting that we finally got it but man dude getting these challenges done was really tough for the science category of the camo, you have to shoot 50 enemies taking cover for you in multiplayer. So basically just killing people off a of head glitch. And the hardest part was finding people that actually wanted the head glitch because nobody wants to take cover. I don't know why you feel like they would, but it, for some reason they just wouldn't. They won't go to the window. No, why would he jump out of the window? Like the first thing he did. Yo, I need one. Someone, someone, please get go in the window. I'll beg. I please. A free Kodak. You do it, man. You seem like a reasonable guy. I want the one kill. I'm going in the window. Is this it? Come on, man. They smoked it. Oh, no. How? Dude, they just keep flooding out the window. Yes, I got it! Let's go! Oh my god! Finally! I got it, I got it. So here are my assault rifle builds on each different assault rifle. For the XM4, I got the Microflex LED sight. For the XM4 only, I ran the agency suppressor, not really for its pros and cons and its statistics, but just for the fact that I like the sound of it. It wasn't bad, and if I were to use a different muzzle, I would probably use the infantry compensator, because this gun doesn't really have a lot of recoil in general. The 13.7 inch barrel takedown. I like this just for the fact that I was trying to get long shots, and shooting people from window to window was pretty difficult if I didn't have this. The SVOD speed grip, and the Raider pad. All my guns are kind of similar for the Krig 6, we have the Microflex LED again. The muzzle brake this time on the Krig 6. I like this with the recoil control. The 19.7 inch takedown barrel again. 
S5 speed grip, and the Raider stock. For the QBZ, we got the Microflex LED again, the Infantry Compensator, the 15.5 inch reinforced heavy barrel, S5 speed grip, and the Raider stock. For the FFR, this is the only gun I didn't run the Microflex LED sight. This gun has probably some of the worst recoil, so be ready for that. I didn't really find anything to make it any better. With the SOCOM Eliminator muzzle, I might change this out just for the muzzle break, just for the fact that the horizontal recoil control on this gun is kind of bad. The 19.5 inch reinforced heavy barrel, S5 speed grip, airborne elastic wrap, and the Raider stock. For the AK, I got the Microflex LED, muzzle brake, 18.2 VDV reinforced barrel, the Gru elastic wrap, and the KGB skeletal stock. Keep in mind guys, I run perk read on every single class. So if you do run Gunfighter, there are so many other builds you can run on these guns. I just feel that perk read is so much more efficient and more reliable than having to add like a steady aim laser and 10 extra bullets in each gun. And if you guys believe that you have a better class build, let me know in the comments below. I really want to see what is working for you. And the rest of this video is going to be a bunch of clips and highlights of me using the SMGs and getting those diamond. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of this video. Detected in your AO. Whoa! What the f***? Damn, but the weird that guy left the game! <gasps> Wait, where the f*** did he go? Huh? Both enemies by being contact. Fucking head ass bitches, bro. You got... Oh my god, dude. Dude, this is so insane. Aim assist. Oh my god. This is amazing, dude. I'm shitting on everybody. I went 41 and 12. Oh my god. Dude, they made aim assist OP, bro. Oh my god. I got play the game. Easy game, bro. Yeah, I know. This is nuts, dude. I fucking love aim assist, bro. This dude. It plays all day and night, uses the most OP guns, and it thinks he's good. That's hilarious. Chilling, bro, That's like, hilarious. Really That's hilarious. Oh, man, good, man. They're in the lead. Oh, three more. Two more. Two more kills, diamond camo. Or two more double kills, diamond camo. One. One more double kill. One more double kill. I'm afraid to go that way, dude. Dude, now this is this is what's going to happen. Since I just like didn't get a kill or that double kill, I'm gonna keep dying. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Oh no. One. Come on, give it to me. Was oh, that it? No. Oh. Controller sense. No. Steam plow Johnson. You guy. Yes. Is that it? Give it to me. Yes, SMG Diamond. Oh, let's go, boys. Boom, boom. Oh, and the Fury kill. Oh, my God, guys. Let's go.